Hey. So you know how sometimes there's been a lot of people who've been saying, you know, people are hating you because you're anointed and all this other stuff. And while that may be true, have some of y'all considered the fact that people may not like you because you suck at life? They ask you to do something and you'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then you don't show up. You don't exactly demonstrate the greatest quality of work when you do do it. And that doesn't mean that you're not anointed, but honey, sometimes you got to work on your discipline. And I'm speaking to myself too, because I'm gifted in several areas of my life, mentally, physically, spiritually, blah, 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 blah. But if I don't walk in excellence and discipline, people aren't going to be jealous or anything or not want to deal with me because I'm such an awesome person, even though there's some people who can feel that vibe. They're not going to want to deal with me because I'm not doing what I need to do. They don't see any use for me. Why, why would they want somebody who doesn't exactly get the job done and doesn't exactly get it done the way that it's needed? Now, granted, if you are that type of person, it's better for you to be around people who are going to show you how to do what you need to do. People who will believe that you will eventually get to that point of... What is it? Walking in the divine providence of this thing called discipline. But at the same time, sometimes people don't want to be around you because you suck. But thank God for Holy Spirit and repentance. Because we don't got to stay that way. All right. Love y'all. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.